hey what is up guys welcome back to pro traders path i'm back with another video and in today's video i'll be talking about the market maker sell model or market maker model time and delivery now since i'm showing the market maker sell model and i have given you guys the market maker buy model as your homework if you have been doing it or if you have been trying to learn it or practice it i hope you are finding something out of the videos that i'm sharing now this video can be little confusing if you're not familiar with all the terms or all the things of ICT that he has shared so far and if it's confusing my suggestion will be go through the video maybe one or more time or maybe couple of time more and try to observe the information or try to get the information with proper focus and attention once you get the information you will be able to see things that you were not able to see before so yeah without any further ado let's start a market maker model runs on a time element that aligns or blends with the price specifically when we are talking about a market maker model we are looking into the left side of the chart where we have already the printed candles where we have the open high low close as our data point and price will often refer back to the data point inside of a specific time window and when the time and the price delivery meets with the data point the algorithm then sends some set of instructions to do one of the four things which is consolidation expansion reversal or retracement that i have shared on the very first video of this entire series and essentially this is what a macro is so from a data point inside of a time window when the set of instruction happens price then delivers one of the four things as the macro now this part might be little confusing however don't worry i'm gonna explain what i literally mean by that but keep the information that inside of a time window you are expecting price to reverse or retrace back to a data point or refer back to a data point from where you are expecting one of the four things either it can be a consolidation it can be an expansion it can be a reversal or a retracement okay so let's take that information into a weekly profile from a weekly profile to a lower time frame in this case for example the drawing i have on the chart let's assume this is a hourly chart or hourly price action since price is fractal you can look into the same exact thing on a lower time frame as well i'm going to cover that part as well however you cannot expect the exact same price action every week because by the end of the explanation of the price delivery of a weekly range you will understand why you cannot expect the exact same but with the information that i'm going to share you can figure out or you can point out at what level of price delivery you are currently looking at your chart and what can possibly happen the upcoming days or rest of the days of the week or rest of the time for the day okay so without any further ado let's go to the weekly profile and on a hourly time frame what we are exactly looking into that typically on a weekly range what you can expect on a monday is a consolidation where price can generate liquidities on both side of the market which is buy side and sell side and that's the engineered liquidity that uh, starts the market maker model so on monday we can expect a consolidation now moving forward from monday on tuesday what typically happens is on tuesday we'll have a retracement back into the expansion leg where price will align with a data point it can be a high time frame point of interest or as i said open high low close of the already printed data and ideally this will happen inside of a kill zone when the data point and the time aligns inside of a kill zone the first stage of accumulation will, will happen and the output of that will be an expansion phase followed by a retracement again inside of a kill zone where we'll have our second stage of accumulation and wednesday is most likely to again start expanding higher however on thursday we'll form the high of the week and generally this will happen during the new york session where we'll have our change in state of delivery and the smart money reversal the buy program of a market maker sell model 
will be completed on this specific time window and the sell program will start with that smart money reversal or the change in state of delivery on friday we will have a retracement back into the expansion leg after the smart money reversal and this is where we will have our first stage of distribution we can see this as a tgif trade where we can retrace back into 20 to 30 percent of the weekly range that has already formed on monday in this case we do not see the consolidation instead we can see a retracement back into the range after the first stage of distribution and our second stage of distribution take place this is typically known as the silver bullet on a weekly range so when we can understand the price delivery or where we are at in terms of the price delivery we can understand or identify when we want to be in a trade and when we don't want to be in a trade so that's the cycle that i'm giving you on a weekly range now as i said this is a drawing and i have taken back the drawing until the next monday just to give you guys the idea that you will see a lot of mondays are expanding instead of consolidating the reason behind that is it's in the cycle that is still not completed so based on the price delivery you can identify at what side of the cycle you are looking into is it a manipulation leg of the distribution leg or exactly where and which side of the market you are trying to find your high probability setups so just because it is monday doesn't necessarily need to be consolidating now we can combine the market maker models with the amd to find our high probability setups inside of a retracement leg what do i mean by that is when the retracement is happening in this case let's say on the on our time frame on the lower time frame than one hour which can be five minutes or 15 minutes or even one minute you can look for another market maker model inside of it what is that on the lower time frame is when we are on the buy side of the curve during the retracement leg we can expect inside of this retracement leg a accumulation a manipulation a distribution which is a market maker buy model inside of that retracement leg on a lower time frame when we are on the sell side of the curve inside of the retracement leg we can look for the smaller market maker sell model which is also the amd accumulation manipulation distribution on a lower time frame then the time frame we are looking into the retracements or looking into the um, price delivery on a weekly profile and we can identify or figure out our high probability setups inside of the different stages of the price delivery this is when you will find the 2022 it model working the best and also there is a thing that you have to keep in mind that every day is not for trading you should not be trading every day because there will not be a high probability setup every day trade only when you have it figured out where exactly you are sitting in terms of the price delivery what you are expecting from the market before it's happening so if i'm expecting a retracement back into the range or into a point of interest in this case let's say the hourly fair value gap on a lower time frame i'm expecting first a consolidation then a expansion which the manipulation phase and when price gives me the sell side delivery on the lower time frame this is where i will find the liquidity grab market structure shift fair value gap enter from there and the continuation or the distribution okay since price is fractal we can look for a certain thing inside of a daily range as well let's break down the entire cycle into a daily range now when our daily range or daily expectation is bearish during the asia session we can expect the consolidation now again every day the asia session will not be the consolidation it can be expansion depending on at which stage you are looking into so you have to keep in mind that not every day is for trading and not every day price is gonna print out the way you are expecting price to print out now for that ict actually cleared on his channel 
that which London session is to avoid and which one is to trade for. So the London session just to give you some short information if you have been watched that video from ICT is when the Asia session is not clearly consolidating or when the Asia session is expanding to a direction that is the day you don't want to trade the London session okay so keep that in mind now let's talk about the daily profile that we can expect so during the daily profile during the Asia session we can expect our accumulation or the consolidation to happen where market will create both buy side and sell side liquidities we can look into the Asia session of the kill zone as our initial consolidation price then will expand higher outside of the consolidation or the Asia range up into the 12 a.m. midnight where we will create a data point again the 12 a.m. or the midnight open is a key level or point to keep on your chart if you have hard ICT your best or high probability buy long setup will happen below the midnight open and your high probability sell short will happen above the midnight open so this is a key data point that we have to keep on our chart price will drop below the 12 am opening price inside of london kill zone where typically the judas swing will form and we can look for the liquidity in the form of swing lows or higher time frame periods in this case if the retracement we are looking into is on a 15 minutes chart in one minute we can look for that smaller amd inside of that area where the accumulation manipulation and distribution gonna happen this is where the silver bullet happens as well so now i hope you know or understand why the silver bullet delivers the way i have explained so during the london session usually the first stage of accumulation will happen we then witness another expansion leg after the first stage of accumulation into the new york session where we may have a news let's say at 8 30 and we may witness a retracement back into the range into a pdra mostly inside of your previous session kill zone in this case london session kill zone this is where we can expect the second stage of reaccumulation will form price then quickly expand higher reaching for our buy side objective and generally this is where the high or low when you're looking into a market maker buy model the high or low will form inside of your london close if we haven't reached to our higher time frame point of interest or the buy side objective hasn't been met by the london close and if there is a news event that is waiting around 10 am mostly that's the time you will see there is a news so at 10 am what market will do is it will literally shoot higher very aggressively reach to that higher time frame point of interest and after the news price will give you the smart money reversal and the change in a state of delivery when london will close and new york am session will start now we can combine the market maker model with the power of three and the standard deviation to confirm or identify our buy side delivery or objective has fulfilled or not what do i mean by that is after the midnight open we are expecting inside of our london session where the london judas swing and silver bullet will form we're expecting a retracement lower this retracement if you remember correctly is actually your lower time frame so since we are looking into a 15 minutes structure in one minute you will find it's a smaller time frame accumulation manipulation distribution so this retracement leg is actually a manipulation leg now what we can do is if we take a fib from the manipulation leg low to high which is the retracement leg we can project or we can look for the standard deviations if my higher time frame objective or the buy side objective is aligning or at a close proximate to that level or not 
Now just one standard deviation or just one projection is not enough to give you the perfect confirmation. So in that case what you can do is remember the projection from the initial consolidation. You can project another FIP from the initial consolidation low to the initial consolidation high and look for a close proximate or a alignment in this case it's a negative 3.5 standard and a negative 3 standard from two different areas is aligning nearly or aligning together almost aligning right so this is with that higher time frame point of interest or the buy side objective of the market maker sell model if that is aligning around that area now you can be confident or you can be expecting the smart money reversal from that area so standard deviation alone is not something that you will be focusing or trying to participate in the market with multiple projections aligning together this is where you are getting extra confirmation along with that if you have that buy side objective aligning with your projection level this is where you get your confidence or confluence that okay from here i can expect the change in the state of delivery the market structure shift and the sell side of the curve to occur when market reaches to your high time frame point of interest or the buy side objective is fulfilled when you have projected and got the extra confirmation with the change in the state of delivery you can now use the manipulation leg or the final stage of distribution to look for how far price can go below the initial consolidation of the sell side liquidity and if a higher time frame point of interest is aligning with any of the standard deviations or not along with the p prints i hope you have watched my previous videos so this information should not be very confusing to you if you haven't watched it go through the first lesson until this one and take notes rewatch try to understand so yeah you can look for your projected terminus or the distribution leg where the low of the day can form things like that you can predict or you can calculate it before it happens and you can act accordingly and you know how to do the greetings and what to expect at a certain level of the grid by now if if you don't i believe you haven't watched my previous lessons so go through that one more time so the same information we can take part into the new york am session where between 10 am to 11 am we will see our silver bullet entry form and silver bullet entry is something that ICT has already shared on his channel and based on my understanding what you are looking into is you're looking into the expansion leg between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. where you have a fair value gap market will reach us back to that fair value gap and then it will deliver towards the direction that you are anticipating in this case the buy side of a sell model so buy side curve is what you are expecting now if you can align or if you can combine the silver bullet entry with the macro time remember we are looking into this retracement leg where we will have the smaller time frame so if this is a 15 minutes time frame we are looking into in one minute time frame there is a accumulation manipulation then distribution happening we can enter on that manipulation leg from the fair value gap once it reaches there we can look into that and use the projection ideas to determine that okay this is actually where it should go or the pdrs that you can look for in this case maybe it's sitting lower just to keep the drawing clean i'm just putting it here so yeah you're looking into the 10 am and 11 am window where you have a fair value gap price will retrace back there this retracement leg is also on a lower time frame a market maker buy model and if you can align that with the macro time that ICT has talked on his channel or shared on his channel you will find this setup working pretty good for yourself now I haven't shared my own finding regarding the New York session silver bullet which I will do pretty soon hopefully but by the meantime you can look for the same informations on your chart and try to find something of your own 
remember whatever you have practiced or found on your own if you have the data if you have actually dedicatedly looked into your chart you don't need to listen to someone else to tell you what you are looking for so with the information that you are learning from others or even for from me the information is helping you to understand more if you don't like it just ignore it okay so as long as you have a profitable strategy don't switch from one to another without back testing forward testing or properly understanding it and seeing the data for yourself now i shared my london silver bullet strategy and so far people are getting pretty good amount of results out of it i'm not sure if you have bossed it or not but with the information here if you can combine the information with the silver bullet you will know what exactly i shared regarding my silver bullet strategy at the same time why exactly i can expect those things to happen okay now from here market will then expand higher during the silver bullet time and new york am session we can view the entire am session as our accumulation cycle when the price delivers usually this is where the first stage of accumulation inside of the new york session so this is the am session first stage of accumulation happens around that area so inside of the lunch hour we can see another macro form which is from 11:50 to 12:10 where we can see the second stage of accumulation and after the second stage of accumulation of the retracement leg happens which is also remember on your smaller time frame the market maker buy model so accumulation you are expecting here manipulation to a retracement to a fair value gap or point of interest from there an expansion higher that delivers or completes your buy side objective and reaches to the higher time frame point of interest from where you are expecting the smart money reversal so inside of the lunch hour where another macro forms this is where the second stage of accumulation or reaccumulation occurs after that we will often see that inside of a lunch hour a high is formed and after forming the high that completes the buy side objective during the session it will give you the smart money reversal or change in state of delivery at this stage who is making the money from the am session the buyers are making the money when the smart money reversals happens at the end of the lunch hour we can see the first stage of distribution has occurred so by the end of the lunch hour you are expecting the first stage of distribution to the pm session this is where the distribution cycle starts after the smart money reversal at the end of the lunch hour we will start our first stage of distribution cycle where price will first take the sell side liquidity from the the last manipulation leg the first stage of distribution starts from there and between the pm session from 2 pm to 3 pm we will have our silver bullet form now this silver bullet is also the second stage of distribution that happens between 2 pm to 3 pm and if you can combine again the macro the market maker sell model on a lower time frame with the silver bullet timing where market between 2 pm to 3 pm will retrace back into a point of interest or pdra inside first stage of distribution leg or expansion leg however you want to call it which let's say here market will reaches back to the gap around that area from there it will continue its move towards the initial consolidation or the am session liquidity and with the peep range and high time frame point of interest with the projections i have shared earlier you can determine how far it can go but as i said always taking partial is the best and having a some set rules for yourself is the best but also as i said when you have something proven to be profitable don't change it just by understanding the fact okay so keep the information try to figure it out 
as long as you can master the information or you can figure out the information you will see a huge improvement in your own strategy as well so i hope the time and price delivery cycle is clear now and i hope with the information you will be looking into the market in a different way that you were looking without the information so with that until next time take a very good care of yourself your health and your loved one bye bye